To draw an old fashioned thermos flask, you're gonna need a pencil and a pen and an eraser. But let's not talk about it. Let's do it. A thermos flask is basically a cylinder. So we're gonna need an ellipse at the top like that. And a cylinder goes all the way down, nice and straight like that. But um, what we really want is to have a, a cup at the top so we can imagine that there would be like another ellipse inside there but what we want is to bring this in a little bit like that and then we'll have a, a, a smaller ellipse within that bigger one there at the top and then this is the the body of the vacuum flask down here and then that will be sort of connected at the bottom with a curve and then you get this kind of sort of plastic bit on the bottom as well, don't you? Like that. And we're going to want to have a handle as well. <laughs> so this is a sort of tricky bit. Um, so that's going to be kind of like that. So we're going to follow this sort of angle, the, the angle of the cup along the side like that. And we'll bring that over there and bring that back to there. And then we want a kind of a thickness to it as well. And that would be glued on like that there. There's also a kind of a little rim around there where that joins up. There's a little rim around there where that joins up. So let's try inking this in. We can draw in this ellipse at the top. And then we can draw the cup coming down. But I think first of all, we ought to do this um, handle. And that's going to be coming down kind of like that. This is a bit complicated, this bit. Okay, so, <laughs> so actually this is very complicated, isn't it? Sometimes I call this draw stuff real easy and there are some quite difficult bits inside it. So there we go. And that's going to come down there like that and through on the other side to about there. And then we'll join up there at the bottom with a curve. And then we put this little kind of rim around it. It's where the, the metal of this part is sort of folded over. And then we can come all the way down nice and straight. And again, all the way down nice and straight. And join them up at the bottom. And here again, we've got this slight sort of little rim around there like that. And this bit is just slightly wider, this kind of plastic bit that... Uh, sits at the bottom for base that's probably the best word for it <laughs> now when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry then you can erase all those pencil lines and we're going to do some very very simple shading here so i'm going to do a little bit of shading there like that um just a little bit of sort of hatching just down the side there to give that a little bit of an a sort of a, a curve to it and what we're going to do is we're going to make this tartan <laughs> and how do we do that with black and white well we draw these kind of hatched stripes going upwards like that and what you might want to do is kind of draw two lines down to you know give you a guide like that I suppose I've been doing this so long I find it easier without a guide. <laughs> and then we'll carry on, keep doing these stripes. And this is kind of, you know, this is one of those sort of boring bits of drawing, but <laughs> you know, the effect is worth it in the end. So you just have to sort of keep going like that. And then you might find it easy to turn the whole thing sort of on its side. And then we want to draw a sort of a curve the lines going the hatching going the other direction so that it cross hatches as you come around can you see that it's making a cross as it goes there now again you might find it easier to to draw these little curves to draw within and um you know and, and some people <laughs> some people are very pernickety i want it to be absolutely exactly right and some people are a bit more slapdash like i am and uh, and just kind of just draw it <laughs> and so that's what I'm doing and so you want to have this kind of curve in this hatching and I'll just zoom through the rest
So there we go. And we're going to want to kind of continue this, these little bits there as well. And I think we we'll probably want to do some coming up the side here as well. So these are kind of hidden inside this stripe, but that doesn't matter. It's just adding to the tone and making it look a little bit darker on this side because this is where the shadow is going to be on this side and we want that to be sort of around like that and let's put a line there so horizon that puts it on the table and then we can kind of draw these shadow lines like that i don't think we're going to want another one there and you might want to put some cross hatching in there cross hatching makes it darker we can sort of fade that out there, maybe a bit there like that. And then again, when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry, you can rub out those other pencil lines. If you want to know how to paint this in watercolour, come and join me on Patreon, where I uh, sh show those kind of things and sort of have finished images as well. Thanks for watching. And click down there and make sure you're subscribed to the Draw Stuff Real Easy channel. And keep coming back for lots more drawings every week. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.